responsibility only to oneself. Liberty in the pursuit of pleasure. So we had a Grand Street back when the beat movie was just starting. It was this kind of nice sunny Sunday afternoon. So all these tourists were out driving around real slow with their windows down and checking out the streets, you know? And uh, all of a sudden comes this crazy looking black guy who's like, it's got his face covered in these band-aids that are made into crosses, so, so it looks like one of these leather Bibles that's covered in white crosses. He's sticking his head in the car windows, like, shouting his poetry at people according to what he thought they looked like or who they were, you know? And he sticks his head in our car window and battles off some stuff that I can't really remember what it was, but we were shocked, you know? Like, this guy was really saying right off the top of his head, you know? just what he thought, and, and uh, it was pretty amazing. And a while later, I found out it was Bob Calvin because I saw him hanging out in the bagel shop with his son, Parker, and you know, I didn't really appreciate it much as my but more recently, when you reread this thing, you can see that that's where I uh, got those ideas, you know, like Ginsburg and Kerouac, they, they all knew about it already. Picasso's balcony. Pale morning light, dying shadows, lying the earth in midday rays, has been blue to skies and rings, so the power trails across balconies. I mean evening to swing gently on shoulders of time growing old, yet swallowing events of a thousand nights of dying and loving. Of blue. Gone to that tomb, hidden in cubic hair, breathing sounds of song. Crying love rising from the lips of wounded flowers, wailing, sobbing, breathing uneven sounds of sorrow, lying in wells of earth, throbbing. Covered with desperate laughter out of cool angels spread overnight. That in blue images, shades of blue pasts, all yesterday's tomorrows, breaking on little bodies on sands of blue and coral spent. Lifeline heaped in mounds with volcano mouth tops, puckered, open. Sucking in atoms of air, sprinkling in atoms of air, coloring space with flecks of brilliance, openly glistening in eyes in flames. Blue flames burning on musty cliffs, overlooking blue seas, bluish. In sad times, Heard seabirds come to bear an ice white wind alone and rare well in starlight wells, cold pits of evening and endings, flinging rounds of flame, shitted balls of jagged bone, eaten with remains of torn flowers, overwhelming afterthoughts, binding loves, classic pains, casting elongated shadows of early blue. Stringing hours together in thin melodic lines, wrapped around the pearl neck of morning, beneath the laughter of sad sea birds. Thank you. 